Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Etel Wogu. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please do hit that subscribe button to be a part of this amazing family. And if you've been on this channel for a while now, you've been watching our videos and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Help us reach a 1K subscriber this month and I promise you won't regret it. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I made the neem powder which I used in my Ayurvedic deep conditioner if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a link down below please go check it out but before i start this video let's talk about neem leaf and its benefits neem is popularly known as dogoyaro in nigeria for those who doesn't know this leaf has been used in ayurveda and traditional folk medicine for centuries neem is considered a boom for mankind by nature neem has been recommended by ayurveda for a wide range of diseases such usage are attributed to its purification on blood. It is suggested to have antibacterial, antiviral, anti-cancer, and more importantly, immunomodulatory agents. Talking about the benefits of neem leaf, they are a great source of fatty acid, vitamins, and minerals that are needed for healthy hair and, and skin. This multipurpose help promotes hair growth, strengthens hair follicles, increases blood circulation, give, give you stronger and healthier hair. It is also popularly known for treating lice and also minimizing gray, gray hair. As we proceed, we'll be talking about more benefits of neem leaf to body hair and the skin. So keep watching and don't forget to like this video and comment down below. So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, welcome back. These are the amount of leaves I'll be using to make my powder. I'll go ahead to wash them. Please make sure to wash this because it contains lots of dirt and maybe bed poop. So I'll just rinse this. Okay now let's get into washing it. As you can see I'm already washing mine and it's really really dirty guys like uh, you will see that shortly. While we are washing this leaf, let's talk about some health benefits of neem, neem leaf. This leaf extract is used to treat tooth plague. It contains chemicals that might help reduce blood sugar levels, heal ulcer in the digestive tract, kill bacteria, and also prevent plague from forming in the mouth. It also has anti-inflammatory properties which help reduce, it, reduce acne, nourishes the skin, treat fungal infections, used in detoxification, increases immunity, insect and mosquito repellents, prevents gastrointestinal disease, and also treats wounds. I'll be rinsing this twice to thoroughly get those deaths off. Now see how this water is looking. Now see how dirty the water is, that's why you need to thoroughly wash this to get all those deaths off before proceeding to making your powder so you don't get this dirt in your powder, you understand what I'm saying? After rinsing this, I'll keep it aside to drain out those excess water. Then I'll proceed to air drying this for two days and then I'll make use of the sun on the third day to dry it completely to make it crispy. After, after draining out those excess water, I went ahead to take out the leaves from the stem. But unfortunately, I forgot to film that part. Then this is this is day two and these are how the leaves are looking. They're not completely dried at this point. I will still air dry them. Okay, now let's talk about some amazing benefits of neem leaf to our hair, our beautiful God-given natural hair. <laughs> 
Neem is great for conditioning the scalp. It also promotes healthy hair growth. It temporarily seals hair follicles, suits frizz, minimizes gray hair, reduces dandruff, and also it also helps to treat lies. So if you're someone battling with all this, please try to incorporate this herb into your hair routine and you will thank me later. And also feel free to do more research about this herb on your own space. Now this is day 3 and the leaves are completely dried. After I drying it for 2 days, I made use of the sun on the third day to make it completely dried and crispy. That's exactly what you're seeing right now. Then I'll proceed to blending this. You can either blend it, you can either blend it using a mortar, using a mortar and pestle or even a blender. I have I made two separate videos of how I turned this into powder. First one is what you're seeing right now, which is this blender method. I'll also be showing you guys the mortar and pestle method, so keep watching. Okay, so here is another method of crushing this, but this requires your physical strength. So you have to keep crushing this with the pestle till it turns into a powder form. Keep watching to see this. It is very stressful, but if you don't have a blender, I'm just saying though, if you don't have a blender or maybe your blender is bad, you can use your mortar and pestle and please don't use it what and pestle you use for crushing pepper or any any spicy thing make sure you're not using it because you're putting this on your head like on your scalp it's going to hurt you if if you've previously used this to crush pepper or anything so you want to have a separate mortar and pestle for doing this As you can see, this is gradually turning into a powdered form. You keep doing this until you achieve that smooth powdered form. That smooth powder that you're looking for. It is very stressful, I must warn you, but if you have if you don't have much like if you don't want to spend money getting neem powder from the market and you have neem tree or neem tree around you. Just go ahead to get those leaves and do this powder yourself. I even love, I even prefer doing it myself because um, uh, I can tell how how neat it was made and everything. So go ahead and make this for yourself and thank me later. It's stressful at this point. I was literally tired, but I just have to keep doing this. Like now, this is our name powder. It wasn't easy doing this but we still achieved the result so you can either choose your blender method or choose this method whichever one you prefer go ahead and make the powder for yourself so this is everything I did so far including the blender and and the mortar and pestle so I combined it all together and here you have it this is a DIY me powder if you want to see how i how i use this please go ahead to check the, the video the link down below to see how i use this on my hair i'll still be posting more videos of me using neem powder and not the rest of the powder i've made so far i won't all, only use it for deep conditioner i'll use them separately for different things so you won't want to miss those videos so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed in and here you have it our neem powder is ready to be used and please make sure to store this in an airtight container 
it, anything airtight, either a glass jar or a ziplock bag or anything, but just make sure it's airtight. So this is it for today's video. I hope you like it. Please like this video. Don't just watch and go. Please like it and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.